So everyone's heard of the Intel Arc, right? It's pretty big, it was announced by Intel, Intel's first dedicated graphics card. What if I said it wasn't their first though? What if I said that Intel had a dedicated graphics card before the Arc? Not integrated graphics, a dedicated chip. It just didn't go on a PCI slot. I'd like to introduce you to the Intel Iris Xe graphics. Mostly for things like mini computers and laptops, taking the place of integrated graphics, though still its own chip and inherently separate from the CPU. It was released in September of 2022, alongside the mobile version of the 11th gen CPUs. There is Intel Iris Xe as well as the Intel Iris Xe Max, which is just a stronger and better version of Intel Iris Xe basically. It also still does have the same cool feature of the Arc, where it uses AI to enhance and um, improve your footage and your gaming experience. And it does advertise itself on the site as a gaming site, as a gaming card. And some have compared it to a GTX 1650. It does have a few things, like it is still integrated, so it shares system memory with the device. But it's also got things like DirectX 12 compatibility. But I wanted to test Intel Iris's claims. So what I wanted did is I've got a HP laptop right here, which is running an 11th gen i5, only 8 gigabytes of memory, but it's got Intel Iris graphics on it. And I want to test it on one of the lowest devices ca compatible with the Intel Iris Xe and just see how it can game, see how it does and just see how it performs overall. Is it actually comparable to a GTX 1650 or is it just as bad as integrated graphics? Make sure to watch the video to find out. And also if you enjoy the video please make sure to like and subscribe as I'm a small creator and would help out a ton. This is the HP laptop, it's a HP Pavilion laptop running Windows 11, as I said Core i5 11th gen 8 gigabytes of memory. Most importantly of all, Intel Iris Xe graphics. Shared GPU memory. It also supports DirectX 12, which is nice. So let's run 3D Mark on this and see how it does. Let's run Time Spy. On Time Spy, the scores are only 965, which, unlike what they advertised, is far lower than the GTX 1650. But you know what? Let's give it a chance. Let's let's do some gaming with it. Okay, first game Minecraft, which admittedly is more of a CPU game than GPU, but it's worth a look. While just flying in an open world, I'm um, generating new chunks, it's hitting in between 60 and 50 FPS, which is a pretty good frame rate for Minecraft, but we don't have anything like shaders on at the moment. Now a pretty basic game like Portal 2 is running at a pretty consistent 130 or 120 FPS, with the average being 140, what was a second ago. Most of these programs still see Iris as integrated C um, GPU. Uh, it won't give me the percentages and stuff for the Iris chips. But 130 FPS on a game like Portal, it looks pretty good as well. But it's also a pretty basic game. Ooh, but something's like Assassin's Creed Unity has the CPU on 100% and is running at 15 FPS. Maybe 20 when it jumps up occasionally, with a 10 average. You can see the choppiness. This isn't even like- Look, the Intel Iris is perfectly adequate as a basic laptop graphics card. Look, it's even pretty good for some light gaming, but they very clearly had on their website gaming on there, which I don't think it is applicable to. Maybe the Max and some higher end, and some higher end laptops, but if you're going for that much of a higher end laptop, you'll probably just have a dedicated card in there, like an RTX. For workloads, it's pretty good, which this laptop was intended for. I bought this laptop not for gaming, but for taking with me and doing stuff on, doing work on. But it very clearly said gaming in the thing. This refresh rate isn't even 60 hertz. I'll admit, I'm pretty sure the HDMI port is, but the actual screen itself isn't. That, though I'll admit, that one I don't know if it's the screen or the graphics card. So that one, I wouldn't blame the graphics card for. But as far as I'm aware, that was one of the weakest versions of Intel Iris Xe because I really wanted to test their claims and they just didn't stand up on it. I wish I could also test an Arc. Geeky Technologies does not have that kind of budget. But I hope you enjoyed this video about the Iris. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm a small channel and help out a ton. If you learnt something, let me know. And if Intel, apart from integrated graphics of course, if Intel had any other fortes into this ground beforehand, let me know in the comments because I haven't heard about any. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.